Hello, Ween, and welcome to the Moan Show. This is the show where scary, scary, spooky, spooky things may happen. Anyway, let's start the show. Moan, there's something scary on the tube. So, Halloween, what is it? Is it something the Americans invented to make a bit of money out of you? Yeah, probably. But it's also a chance to... So, I can see you, you know. Wow. What... What, what are you trying to do? Motherfucker. What? You motherfucker, yeah. Mother... Your mother sucks clocks. My mother sucks what? Clocks. Clocks? Yeah. How is that meant to be scary? Here's a message from a fan. Hello, Moan. I wanted to know why is your nose so disproportionate to the rest of your face? It offends me. Your nose hurts my feelings. Okay, well that was absolutely lovely. Thank you for that loving message. Up next, um, we've got something very special for you. Oh, it's yes, it's true, Big Nose. Oh, I heard them say it down the room. Okay, all right. All right. Could you just let me do this next link and then... then oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it is good, it is good. You're really is convincing, it? yeah. But I just... Ah. It's just a... Okay. Mm. Anyway, t time, time to go inside me. It's a time to go inside the Milan. Where will we go today? It's the Bama Holy. Hi guys, welcome Hi. to the Bum Hole. Oh, I love a Hey, I am here with the Virgin Mary. Hello. And well, not the actual one, obviously. Oh, and you uh, wish. I was the original, actually. She was. Us. Okay, and uh, and X. X. Your name is just X. Uh, uh, it's simple. Uh, it's good branding wise. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, we're here in the bum and uh, just making trouble. You look lovely today, by the way. Uh, thank you, thank you, Virgin Mary. I know I do. I didn't mean you. The name's X. Join us next time when we will be going inside the Moan Stippity Toes. Dimethyltryptamine, or DMT, is a naturally occurring compound made of carbon, what? hydrogen, and nitrogen. What? The common hallucinations of his patients parallel with their death experiences. Why does DMT occur naturally in the human body? Land may be the source of human DMT or other Dr. Rick Strassman, a professor of psychiatry at the University of New Mexico, notes that many of the 60 volunteers he exposed to DMT reported experiencing an interaction with some other intelligence. Something that ancient civilizations have used for centuries. Well, uh, this next bit is, um, uh, are you okay? You're still there. You're, are you meant to be a real ghost, are you? I am ghost. Okay. Oh, I'm ghost. So very scary. I am ghost. Okay. Anyone can throw on a white nighty and, and be a ghost, okay? So, yeah. What's your name? Dilly, Dilly what? Dilly Dally. Is that your name? Yes. All right, Dilly Dolly, how did you get in my Dilly house? Dilly Doll! Dilly Doll, how did you get into my house? Strolled. You, you I strolled. St you strolled into my house. I strolled in. You curly hair, dark face, down now. You shitty little barker. What are you saying? You shitty barker. You shitty barker. Little barker. Little barker. Shitty. What does that mean? I don't know. So a few years ago, I used to make videos that are way better than the videos I make now. Things like this. Food stamps. 
A Cadillac. A bin bag helmet. A bag scratcher. Yeah, and that guy is my brother. So let's see what he's up to now with his life. My brother updates us on his life. Live. Laban, what's new and happening? In biology, right? Yeah. My teacher tripped over his desk. Yeah. And it was really funny because he was talking about like drugs and what effects it has on your body. Yeah, okay, yeah, because the irony in that, yeah. Um, anything other than school? I've got a planner. A planner? Nice. For school. Okay. School the days in the week. Yeah. Not Saturday and Sunday because you don't go to school on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, do you know what? I'll come back to you. Just try and think of something that's a bit interesting that's not to do with school. Okay, now it's time to go into the future. This is me in 30 years' time. Hello, it's me, Mawan. Now, you're probably thinking that I've led a very sheltered, perhaps even pampered life. That's not true. I've been mugged. I was mugged on the beach in Kenya. I was striding down the beach. All I was carrying was a beach bag with my, my frilly bathing cap in it. And I noticed a guy running past me. And, and I suddenly realised I was just carrying the handles of my bag. You know. I didn't put two and two together, that must mean he had a knife, no. And uh, no, I'm not putting up with this, I thought. This is Mawan we're talking about. So I ran after him, shouting at the top of my voice, Baba Yango Iku Askari, which means, my dad's a policeman, I'll have you know. I caught up with him. He was just sort of uh, mounting up on the, on the ridge of the beach. And he turned round. He had this massive knife in his hand, it's called a panga in Swahili. So like a huge cutlass. And he said in Swahili, Quenda, which means go. So I decided to just go. Memories. Whoa, wasn't that amazing? I look so hot in the future. All right, okay, now it's time to go back to my brother and see if he's got anything interesting to say. Naban, hit us. Tell us what your favourite colour is. Orange. Great, now I feel like we're getting to know you a bit more. You know, there's more to you than just going to a school. It's the colour of my science book. It's actually the colour of my English book as well. Yeah, I mean, you always sort of bring it back. So when I go to school, I don't know whether to pick the orange or the it's orange. Right, okay. I just take the wrong book sometimes, basically. Pick the orange! My brother updates us on his life! Live! That is the end of the show, and now for our musical guest, I'm... <laughs> you are definitely not... I've got it sorted. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh! Oh wait, I've got my keys on me.